Hey, how's it going everyone? This is K Collections and this video will be my top 5 budget Fates figures you can buy right now. Before I start, I just wanted to let you know that these recommendations are all prized figures. So prize figures are significantly cheaper, but the quality isn't the best especially when you compare it to scale figures. However, prize figures are great even for collectors, especially for those on a budget. Or, if you're someone who wants to start getting into this hobby, it's a great way to begin your collection. So the first figure I highly recommend is the Okita prize figure from Sega. It's about 8.5 inches tall, price ranges from $25 to $40, shipping included, which is always great. These are promotional images which is meant to look clean, so the actual product will be slightly different in quality. Sadly, I no longer have these figures, otherwise I would have taken pictures. Regardless, I can still tell you the pros and cons for each figure, and starting with this one, the scale of this figure is the main highlight. Now, prize figures usually don't have a specific scale, but when compared to other statues, this is close to a 1 8 scale, depending on where you buy it. For the price point, it's a great deal. I typically buy my prize figures on eBay or Amazon, sometimes AmiAmi Ami if they have any in stock, but if you purchase internationally, be aware of the shipping costs, which can be a lot. Also, Shotgun Shogun is a vendor, I don't know his current inventory, he does have prize figures, so feel free to reach out to him, I'll put his YouTube and Twitter links in the description. The sculpting and painting on the statue is amazing, especially for a prize figure. The wrinkles on the back looks great. You can see some of the folds on the clothes, especially on the right arm. On top of that, there are nice shading on her clothes and dress to prevent it from looking too plain. Also, because there isn't a lot of combination of colors, there's less painting issues such as paint bleeds. You will see some, just not a lot. Now her face does look a bit weird. Also, you can't tell from the images, but there will be noticeable seam lines, two near her shoulders and one on top of her head. The worst part about this figure is the damn sword. I mean, just look at this. I don't know, it's just ugly to me. It does have silver painting, but it's not metallic silver, so the sword will look plain. The black paint on the blade completely ruins it. It's inconsistent, and typically for katanas, there should be a darker shade of gray instead of black. Also, her scabbard looks awful. You can see it towards the end. Overall though, it's still a great figure for collectors. Next recommendation is Jack the Ripper from Taito. It's a bit on the smaller scale, but it actually fits the servant. 7 inches is pretty good in my opinion, and for $25 to $30, it's a steal. The matte black on her clothing and weapons on her back makes this figure look clean. The white bandage wraps around her arms also have sculpted lines to give some details. One of the best thing about this figure is the painting on her eyes. I also love the shadings on the ends of her hair. Now you will have noticeable paint bleeds on the body and here's a close up of her weapon. The worst thing about this figure is that it can be used as evidence when you get caught by the FBI, so purchase with caution. The next is the one and only Tamamo, another great figure from Sega. It's around the same size as the Okita figure, price ranges from $35 to $45. Great thing about this is the scale. Again, it's close to a 1 8 scale statue. Now, what's more impressive is the sculpt work on the clothing. There's a lot of wrinkles and folds on the sleeves, which gives a lot more detail to the figure. The paint job is actually quite good, with the typical paint bleeds, of course. Me, personally, it'll look a lot nicer if they added a darker tone of blue shading towards the end of her clothing. Now the painting on her eyes are great, my biggest issue is that there's little to no shading on her hair, which makes the overall look plain. Not to mention the horrendous hairpiece attachment on the back. You can't have a figure recommendation list without mentioning Shisho. This is by Furiyu, which made both her second and third ascension. Get the third ascension, it's overall better. Now the scale may be an issue for some, it does stand at around 7 inches, which is close to a 1 10th scale figure, 
but the scope work is freaking amazing from the wrinkles on her clothing to the details on her weapon which has a nice touch of dark shades throughout I mean, just look at the details on the back, the sculpt work on her hair, even her headpiece has consistent curves and wrinkles across. Speaking of her hair, I like how they actually took the time to sculpt lines onto it. This gives a more natural flow to it, especially when it's spread out. Now the biggest issue is that the spears can deform or slowly bend in one direction. This is more of a QC issue, but it happens frequently with weapons, specifically spears or long staffs. Try your best to keep it in a cool place if you do buy it. And here is a close up of the figure. Overall, I highly recommend this one. Now for my top recommendation, it's Musashi. Y'all know how much I love her. It's a bit on the pricey side going for $60 to $80, but the quality is absolutely amazing. I would dare say it's as good as some figures made by well-known companies. <coughs> I'm looking at you, Kotobukiya. But honestly, this is a higher-end price figure. Scale figures will cost you around $150 to $200. This price point is reasonable, in my opinion. First and foremost, the painting is absolutely beautiful. These are actual photos of the product. This is my one and only catalyst for FGO after all, so this was the one figure I kept. You see the painting on her back, right? The golden flowers, the leaves, and all these little details all over her clothing. Even her scabbard and katana looks great. There are very little paint issues, and most you'll see small amounts of paint bleeds. Here's a look at her sword. It has a nice shine on the silver, but not metallic, but it's still great. And it's hard to see, but there's a light gray painting on the back of the blade. This is how you paint a katana, unlike Okita's sword from the beginning. Finally, here's a close-up of the face. It does look a bit weird to me, but the eyes are beautiful. My major complaint is that there's not enough sculpted hairlines. You can see it kind of looks flat and plain. So, what was your first Fate figure? If you don't have any, then what was your first anime figure? If you don't collect, then what Fate figure would you like to get eventually? I also added some Amazon and eBay links in the description where you can possibly buy some of these. But please do your own research on the buyer before purchasing. If you're going to buy from an international seller, know the shipping costs and never, ever buy any figures from China as it can be counterfeit. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more FGO content. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Don't forget to join my Discord server. All links are in the description. Most importantly, a tremendous thank you to Darkcry, Merlanda, and Rosie for supporting me on Patreon. You're awesome. And if you want to support my channel, feel free to check out my Patreon. Have an awesome day, everyone. Till next time.